It says Highway 62 has seen an uptick in fatal car crashes recently. And to make it safer, they've put up a median in Morongo Valley, which has the community in an uproar. KMIR 6's Matt Vandeveer joins us live in studio with that story tonight. Matt. That's right. Caltrans says they put up the barrier to divide the highway so pedestrians don't cross, and so it's obvious to oncoming traffic where the divide is. But much of the community says the divide causes more problems than before, so Caltrans held a community information meeting to speak with them. These are called delineators or continuators that Caltrans installed in the city of Morongo Valley to help reduce fatal crashes on Speedy Highway 62. Only problem is, residents say Caltrans didn't consult with any of them. The community is unhappy. They could have done it other ways than just sticking up cones in the middle of the highway. It's just a crazy idea. Uh, our visibility's bad. Resident Sue Lund worries for her horse business. I'm up and down the highway quite often with a horse trailer. Uh, my road, which is Rawson Drive off of Highway 62, got blocked by the delineators, making it very, very difficult and unsafe for me to make left turns. Another resident says the delineators are so flimsy they don't offer protection. In fact, he says it makes it worse. It's not a solid barrier. Cars can come bursting through there. Right in front of you, you can't see them. You have no time to get out of their way. They've actually created more problems. But Caltrans says they went over all the options, and this one was the safest. It's for the safety of the traveling public, and it's for the community safety, for pedestrian safety. It's the safety of the whole community. This is an interim measure. It's temporary until the permanent project goes to construction. Which won't start for a couple of years, leaving residents with this median for a while. We have to make dangerous U-turns on the highway in order to get back to the streets that we live on that were blocked off. And while the community and Caltrans can agree on one thing, it is a very dangerous section of the highway. It's tragic. There's been so many fatalities out here. You drive up and down the road. There's memorials all over. No one seems to be able to agree on how to fix it. Install a couple of traffic signals. Drop the speed limit to back to 35, which was years ago through the town of Morongo. Caltrans has no plans as of now to take down those delineators. Construction on the permanent barrier begins in 2015. Back to you.